Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, Penright Oil, Hair and Forbes Machinery House and Pace Farm Eggs. Hello and welcome to another episode of Classic Restos. But before we go any further, you need to see this. It's thanks to Shannon's. Ask about multi-policy discounts and sign up for the Shannon's Club. Call 134646 for a quote and see more at shannons.com.au. For oils, coolants, additives and technical assistance, oil right, use Penright. And Heron Forbes has the range. Buy online at machineryhouse.com.au. Here I am at the Geelong Showgrounds, and it's incredible to think that just 24 hours from now, right here, I will be surrounded by possibly the largest collection of Holdens here in Australia, as the Showgrounds morphs itself into a GMH showcase. Welcome to the 2016 Geelong All Holden Day. And the name of the event says it all. Some will argue that Geelong is a Ford town. We look at history here and the blue oval emblem has the runs on the board. But in March each year, the lion roars and rules its supremacy for this ever-growing classic car event. The All Holden Day is put on from the tireless efforts of the Geelong FXHZ Holden Car Club, which was established back in 1976, the year of the mighty HZ Holden. Around three and a half thousand people attend the event to drool and admire a showcase of more than 700 cars solidifying Australian automotive history. The Holden is often referred to as Australia's own car, representing its mass production with the 48215, standing for the year of 1948, hosting a 2.15 litre six cylinder engine. Back in 1948, if you had a new Holden, you were pride of your street and the envy of your friends. And considering other makes and models running around back then, the new Australian Holden simply blew them away. There has been a manifesting love affair between the Holden and countless thousands of Australians over many decades. Let's go see now how and why this passion lives on. Speaking of Holden passion, things don't get much better than this. We have Barry. How are you, mate? Not too bad, Fletch. How are you today? Good, good, good. The effort that you have gone here on this 67 HR wagon is amazing. Tell us the story. Well, I bought the uh, the car quite some years ago, and it's about two years ago since we uh, really stripped it right down to bare nothing. And then we've uh, gone step by step, rejuvenated it to... Um, um, back to its original glory. The amount of work that Barry's done to this car many years ago used to go to our cars that had significance in terms of usually racing accolades or a top or a high level luxury car but this is what's nice about 2016 we're getting our base model cars like it didn't get much more plain than a HR station wagon people like Barry are throwing the bucks at it doing the restoration right the first time and look what you're ending up with I mean this is just a masterpiece yeah, thank you, uh, Fletch. No, well, we just tried our best and uh, to uh, to bring it back to its original glory. You've got a photo album here today as well with shots there from the build. I mean, there's no bolt left unturned here. Um, the 161, you've had that balanced as well. I mean, you've really gone all out here, Barry, haven't you? Well, that's right. I mean, there's uh, not much just doing it half-hearted. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and uh, so we... Uh, as we wanted to produce it uh, as it was when it came out in its heyday. What colour is the paint? It's got such a, a deep luster to it. It's a uh, sand down fawn, which is the uh, the colour, which is the original colours. Mm. Yeah, there's lots of HRs around like this, with uh, all coloured up, white wall tyres and all the mud fups. Now, what made you go a station wagon? Is it something that you set out to get, or did it just come along and you thought, yeah, that'll do? Well, the thing is that uh, if I go travelling anywhere, I load it up. You know, I've been up to Beechworth uh, with it, uh, up to the old Cranks show up there, 
and uh, so it survives so I can load it up in the back and uh, and go for um, a trek. Good on you Barry, pleasure interviewing you, the first interview today on Classic Restos, the 2016 all Holden Day here at Geelong. Thanks, Barry. Thank you for, for your time, Fleet. Okay, moving through the sensational 2016 All Holden Day here at Geelong. From one beautiful make of Holden to another, we have Greg. How are you, mate? Good, Fletch. Very good, thanks. That is great. You've brought along this year 72 LS Monaro, every bolt turned, restored. What a beautiful example, mate. Yeah, thanks very much, Fletch. Um, I haven't owned the car very long. I've done a fairly rapid restoration on the car, back to what I think is realistic as to what it would have been off the production line. A rapid restoration. Rapid restoration, about how, 13 how, months. How good would it look had you taken your time? Probably about the same. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see too many HQ coupes with a 253. I think that's, uh, that's pretty unique in its own right. Uh, was the car okay when you got it? It was pretty run down. It was owned by a lady from you. She had it 37 years and she didn't do much mechanically on it at all. But everything was there for the restoration. I didn't have to source very many parts at all, so it was good. Greg, I love your attention to detail. We look around the heat stove pipe there, for example, sucking the warm air up from the manifold into the automatic choke there and the, uh, the proper cloth and the GM tag around there. I mean, attention to detail really shows in the paddock when the car like this is displayed. Um, a silly question to ask, but it must be a great car to drive. It's very nice to drive. Uh, very smooth, very quiet, not much engine noise inside. Mm. And yeah, it's a lovely vehicle to cruise along in. The HQ is based on the American Pontiac and uh, there's a lot of uh, American styling and thought in the HQ. A lot of our Australian built cars had derivatives from the US. Um, but it shows, I mean, the, the HQ it was a, a very well styled car. Nice and rounded, lower styled guards, had a real nice look about it, didn't they? They did. Very, very nice. Um, and yeah, you can see the, the hint of US styling mm. that comes across to the Australian versions and even in the wheels. Mm. Absolutely. Now, under the hood is one thing. We look inside in the interior, the beautiful white interior, no matter where you look. We look at the dashboard, the attention to detail there. Again, it's just amazing. Yes, um, flex interior in this car. Um, some old stock Nylex flax went back into the car, so try to keep it all original. And yeah, it's quite a nice car. It's very uplifting and bright inside with the white interior. Now the Holden, you're watching at home and you know your Holdens, you're going to know the paint colour. Fletch doesn't. I've got to ask, what's the name of the paint? Chateau Mauve. Metallic. Wow. Mm. Absolutely awesome. Sensational. Now, in terms of build time and the effort that you went into it, have you got anything else up your sleeve, Greg? Because I know you've done a couple of these, so is there anything else on the drawing board? Not at the moment. Maybe when I retire I'll do another car, but I need a bit of a break. <laughs> <laughs> From the hard work you've done. Uh, it's amazing. Greg, thanks very much for showing off your uh, August-built 1972 LS Monaro. It is uh, certainly a sensational car, mate. Well done. Thanks very much, Fletch. You're welcome. You are watching the 2016 Geelong All Holden Day, and you are seeing it first on Classic Restos. Back with more right after this. In 1926, Australia's Penrite Oil Company was established. Almost 90 years of research, development and refining under the harsh Australian conditions has made Penrite Oil what it is today. Precision, performance, reliability and protection. Championship winning products. Trust Penrite. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. If you need a new piece of equipment for your workshop, you need Hare and Forbes Machinery House. Hare and Forbes Machinery House have showrooms around Australia and New Zealand that will have you browsing for hours. See the largest range of industrial and workshop DIY tools. You will be greeted by friendly, helpful staff and you can buy from anywhere online at machinerymouse.com.au. Hair and Forbes Machinery House. Find your closest store at machinerymouse.com.au. 
New for 1948 is Australia's own car, Holden. A new revolutionary style that takes on a totally new dimension in Australian motordom. The 48215 Holden is a beauty. A sheer delight to drive with new unleashed power, unheard of, via a new 2.15 litre six cylinder engine with single downdraft carburetor, returning up to 29 miles per gallon at 55 miles per hour. And the three speed gear shift is so easy to use, even the wife can drive. More drivability, more room, and more added safety for your family and onboard passengers. Look at the new lower roofline and bonnet styled to perfection. Under the nose cone is a beautiful forward style grille graced in chrome giving a waterfall style effect. Inside an old new interior awaits you, compared to other makes you may be used to. General Motors Holden stylists have perfected a selection of trim styles and colors, vinyl and fabrics that makes you feel all new. In back is a roomy boot area that will cater for all families and even the spare tyre. This is the all-new Holden, proudly built by Australians in Australia. The new Holden is new and it's for you. Test drive Holden soon at your local friendly Holden agent. Pick up your brochure, save nine pence. Harry, how many years young are you? 88 years old, Fritz. How long have you had your Monaro? I bought it in 1973 brand new. How cool is this guy? 88 years of age, had the car since brand new, and he's still coming to car shows. Love it. I love the old classic Ristros and flitch with it. Hey, there you go. We'll end on that one. Go on, you, Harry. Thanks, mate. Moving through, time for Jason now. How are you, Jason? Good, thanks, Fletch. That's the way, mate. Now, picked on Jason because it's nice to see the preserved cars, the original cars, but then we've got our custom bracket as well. Now, this is the realm of vehicle where you can go as far as your imagination will let you. Some guys do a little bit out of standard. Some guys go all out. Jason, I think what you've done is kind of like in the middle. It's not too much, but it's enough. And I think you've done a sensational job here now. Tell us, first of all, about what inspired you to modify this HK Ute. Uh, firstly, I've got a HK uh, two-door, so it's all standard form, and I just want to do something a bit different this time, so that's where it all sort of started from, yeah. Engine up front, what are you running? Uh, it's a Holden plastic motor, so like the 304, but taken to a 383. It's an F2R supercharger, uh, puts out about 650 at the tyres. So it goes really well, yeah. And what uh, wonderful tyres you have out back, mate. It's a nice set of boots there. Yeah, they're uh, 15 by 12s, yeah. So, yeah, they're a good four link under the back of it. It's had, yeah, a lot of work done to it, as you can tell, yeah. yeah. Yep. It certainly does look fat. It really fills up those rear quarters, doesn't yes, it? Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's what the number plates are all about, Fat HK. That's where it come from, so, yeah. Now, radiator support panel, it's all very well to put these engines in these cars, but extra little things need to be done as well. Not necessarily what you've done here, but it's clever. Uh, that radiator support panel, what's that out of? Uh, it's just a standard one, just been modified pretty much, yeah. So there's, there's heaps of mods under the bonnet, which you sort of can't notice unless you get it beside a standard one. But Walk us through some. Right, yeah. So firstly, the firewall's been taken out and been flattened off. Um, we've also got the wiper motor under the dash. The washers are under the dash. So there's nothing under the bonnet. The It's got power steering, rack and pinion power steering, which makes it absolutely beautiful to drive. It drives like a new car. Um, yeah, it's just and custom extractors, custom sump, custom. goes on and on, yeah. See, this is what I like. I, I like a little bit of creative stuff. And as I said earlier, not to the point where you don't like it. I mean, I think this whole thing's pretty cool, which then takes us into the interior with that big console you've got going on there. Looks like it's, is that marine? No, that's made out of a bonnet, like a bonnet of a car, back to front. <laughs> And took a few hours at night after work, obviously, but yeah, it's all custom steel made, back to front bonnet, yeah, so. Um, comfortable too, good seats. Yeah, Magna seats, yeah, Magna seats been modified and put in there. Um, roll cage for safety, four wheel disc brakes, just, yeah, on and on. Jason, thanks for being on today's show. Thank you, Fletch. Um, it's awesome. Uh, what are your thoughts on the 2016 All Holden Day here in Geelong? I reckon that's absolutely brilliant, yeah, no, um, definitely be back next year, yeah, it's good. These are the biggest numbers I've ever seen. I mean, there's rows and rows and rows. Gets back to the old thing with the TV show. There's room for like five interviews, yeah. and there's like over 700 cars here. But it's enough to make you at home watch the episode and say, wow, I'd love to go there. Jason, thanks again, mate. Thanks, Fletch. Good on you, mate. From one Jason to another Jason. How are you, mate? Good, Fletch. Yourself? Good, good. 1960. FB Holden, totally original. You've got a fantastic story. You'd like to share with us? Yep, for sure. Um, my old man used to have a Holden dealership in Kyneton. Um, he got out of it about 10 years ago. 
his brother took it over. Unfortunately, went belly up, and um, all the cars coming out of the back of the showroom. This one behind me here is is one of them, and yeah, it's. What more can you say than it's gold? You just parked up for all of those years. Parked up for 40, 48 years it was parked up down the back of the showroom. It, it makes you wonder how a car can actually be parked up for 48 years. Yeah, you, you wouldn't think it possible, but obviously he had his head screwed on the right way and sat him down the back of the showroom there and forgot about him. Just left there. Amazing. Just amazing too, this particular car too, Jason, uh, seems to be uh, loaded with NASCO accessories as well. Every possible accessory except for the toenail. <laughs> amazing. We look at a few of them there. We've got the mirror on the side of the door there. We've got the fan up on the dashboard. I mean, even the uh, the cigarette packet, which is almost politically incorrect these days to even display. Forgotten history, that's all that is. <laughs> An old hold up on the dash there to hold your chuff sticks. That's the one. <laughs> Back in a time when it was cool to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. What else can you tell us about the car, Jason? It's all original, never been painted. Um, all I've done to it is put tires, brakes, top radiator hose, let go of me. Still on its original fan belt. Just get in it and drive it, and it drives like a charm. Drove it up the Bendigo the other day, not a problem in the world. You know what, Jason, what gets me about this car, too, I love looking around the engine bay, and we see a factory tag there with string around the upper radiator hose. The phone number for the dealership, 280. Yeah, that's right. Talk about early in the numbers. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, you could try ringing 280 all day today, and you're not going to get anybody. You won't get an answer at all. Mate, great talking with you, and thanks for sharing this car. You've got your father here with us as well today. Today, right? Yeah, he's here. Tell us quickly about your dad. He's been around cars all his life. He had a Holden dealership in Kyneton. He took that over when he was 16. That's where this car was from? That's that's where it came from. Yeah. Just all this, the jigsaw puzzle, the pieces all fit together and it's a, it's a great story. Thanks for being on today's show, Jason. No worries, folks. Cheers. If you love your classic Americana, well, why don't you go and get yourself on a Fletch tour? Have a look at this. There is nothing quite like a Fletch Tour. Carlisle or Ford Nationals, GM Nationals and Chrysler Nationals await you. On a Fletch Tour, you don't have to worry about a thing. I can't believe how good it's been. Experience Route 66. We're definitely coming back to do Route 66. Or choose the Detroit Tour, attending the Woodward Dream Cruise. On a Fletch Tour, every day just gets better and better. You've got to do something in your life, you've got to do a Fletch Tour. There are five Fletch Tours. See FletchTours.com or contact All Things Travel, Lara. If you need a new piece of equipment for your workshop, you need Hair and Forbes Machinery House. From a garage jack through to a lathe, Hair and Forbes has the range. And Hair and Forbes Machinery House are Australian owned, established since 1930. You will be greeted by friendly, helpful staff, and you can buy from anywhere online at machinerymouse.com.au. Hair and Forbes Machinery House. Find your closest store at machinerymouse.com.au. Penrite, Australian made, family owned, and operated. Make premium quality engine and racing oils, warranty approved coolants automatic transmission and manual gear oils, a complete range of engine and fuel additives, heavy duty and industrial products for every application. Visit penrideoil.com for more information. Penrite, Australian made for Australian conditions since 1926. I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49, remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go, so Shannon's laid-up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. With me now, Club President David Manganelli of the FXHZ Geelong Holden Car Club. How you doing? Fantastic. Fletch couldn't ask for a better day. Absolutely great. David, you've got the recent role of president. How does that make you feel? Especially when I think numbers here, pretty safe to say, an all-time high. Absolutely. It's, it's good to know that we've got a great turnout. It's uh, a reflection of both the support of our own members and the club, as well as all the fans and spectators that have been coming down for years. 
Proceeds of the day, where are they off to, David? They're off to quite a few charities, but our major ones are our women, our children's, who support uh, projects at the Geelong Hospital. And our other major is the Isabella and Marcus Foundation. Uh, yeah, we like to get donations out there, and there are two majors for the day. And on next week of Classic Restos, you'll see the Isabella and Marcus episode. All these charities, they're just so worthy, and I give it every opportunity I can at every car show to get behind them and support them, and it's wonderful that all the people here turn up with their classic cars, and behind the scenes, that's where the proceeds go to. And, uh, mate, well done. It's great. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work, mate. Uh, as we said, uh, big numbers here today. Uh, the uh, variety, the quality um, that's turned up here today, mate, you've, you've done it once again. It's just one of the biggest Holden events in Australia. And for 2017, try and get here if you can. Thanks again, mate. Thank you, Flesh. Cheers. It's hard, mate. Now, I don't want to appear one-eyed, but just in my eyes, there is something about an E.H. Holden. Yes, I try and get an E.H. wherever I can, especially one like this. Welcome to the show, Clive. Thanks, Fletch. Um, again, a masterpiece. A car that has been restored. It's beyond words. Uh, how long was your build time on this? Two and a half years. It was uh, complete ground-up restoration. Okay, this car has turned out so good. Was it a good example to start with? No, it wasn't. It was a heap of garbage. Well, there you go. I mean, that's even more testament to the man's work because when you look at it, you'd think that the body was once upon a time good and you just got yourself a great body. Once upon a time probably was good, but not when I got it. Okay, uh, history's always interesting. Uh, do you know much about it before you're getting it? No, I got it from Queensland uh, and I was told it had a bit of rust. That was, that was the whole floor, all the doors, all the guards, everything. Yeah, parked by the ocean, right? Well, I think it was in the ocean. It could have been. It was, it was brought out by some big reel. That's what it looked like, yeah. Well, I just think it's amazing. I mean, the seats are shiny. I mean, the uh, interior is just divine. That's because it takes a bit of polishing. Yeah. yeah. Four hours polishing every time before I take it out to a show. But before you put your bot bot on the seat, you give it a polish. Yeah. Yeah, every time. That's a lot of work, just when you go to the corner store to get some bread, right? Oh, it doesn't go to the corner store to get bread. No. No, no. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, why would you do that? Okay, paint colour. What are we What are we talking there, Clive? Saltbush green with the uh, ivory uh, roof. It's beautiful. Uh, again, it's something, uh, the uh, period correctness of the two-tone paints, I mean, it really, uh, well, highlighted the era, didn't it? I, th I think so. I don't know why they didn't carry on with the white roof, because I think it really smartens the car up. Yeah. It looks really good. I think you'll find two-tone gets back to cost. Well, it probably does too, yeah. You look around a car like this and you keep on going back into the interior again. I mean, the door trims. Uh, now, a full restoration is one thing. Are there any parts of the car that are actually original that you just cleaned up? Well, it, it is... Uh, yeah, there is a lot, a lot that's uh, original, but there's also a hell of a lot that... Complete new in interior, yeah. and the motor was, uh, that's the motor that was in it when I got it, but it wasn't the original motor, yeah. and it wasn't going like it is now. Yeah. But the, uh, there's, yeah, well, when you, when you really look at it, there's a lot that's not original. It doesn't matter because you've themed it as original, so, I mean, you've brought the car back to how it once looked. Uh, also, too, replicating the era that uh, seems to be gone in some ways is the old picnic basket so to speak, in the back. Now you've got the boot or the trunk area if you're watching in the United States, all filled out with stuff that was around from the 50s and 60s and I just think and that's so cool all day long. Yeah, well that was uh, the wife's fault. She, uh, well I got the Esky to start with and then she just went from there on and got all the rest of the stuff. She went silly. She did, yeah, she's a bit like that. But, uh, it gives her a project and an interest and uh, it's all good. See, a man gets an esky and she just adds to it and look what's happened now. you got all this stuff in the back of the car. But it looks good though. I mean, as you said, you started off with the esky and then there's a basket with plates in it. You've got the radio there. Wow, you're set for the whole day. Yeah, the radio actually works too. I've made up a battery to go in it. It's an old Ferris. And the picnic set, the old Bakerlite picnic set. <laughs> and there's the uh, aluminium cups and uh, the old box cameras. And <laughs> that is awesome. Now, rounding off uh, today's interview with Clive, now, you've done so well. You've got yourself a trophy. I mean, that's not what it's about, but it's a nice little accolade to get. So you're pretty proud of that too, right? Yeah, it's always good, good to get a bit of recognition and a bit of hard work. And yeah. uh, 
I've done been pretty lucky with the, in the trophy department, yeah, so uh, yeah. but it's all good. Good on you, mate. Yeah. Well, you're the uh, the EH uh, on today's show. There's no doubt about it. Great catching up with you, Clive. Thank you so much, mate. Thank you very much, Fletch, and I'll enjoy your show. Thank you. Well, there you go. If you love your Holdens, you would adore this event, the 2016 Geelong All Holden Day, one of the largest Holden car shows in Australia. As we spoke to the club president earlier, try and make it here for 2017. In the meantime, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, until next week, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, Penrite Oil, Hair and Forbes Machinery House, and Pace Farm Eggs.